Hello YouTube. I watched a Tin Man Power video um, where he's recycling. He's got a closed exhaust. And it got me thinking, well, how would I draw? I wanted to put it into water. I wanted to put the exhaust into water. So how would I draw it through? And it, I was thinking about a bubbler, you know, what you use for HHO or some of the gate systems. You know, if you had the exhaust going into a bubbler with a hoover for experiment, for experiment with a hoover, you would pull the exhaust gases through the water. So I managed to get a smog pump, and um, I reckon a smog pump will pull the exhaust gas through the bubbler, trap any hydrocarbons, wasted fuel, and anything else in the water, the water is going to get hot because of the exhaust heat and it should pressurise which will help split any any um, hydrogen and oxygen basically I just want to loop the exhaust and have this bubbler sort of mid-section and do a few other things um, but not to, to complicate it too much at the moment, it's just to send it send the exhaust gas through the water and have the smog pump pull it out and send it up to the air intake. Now you could also run that into a gate. That's worth having a look at if you've not heard of one. And it um it's hot and cold. It works better with cool vapours. Obviously these won't be cool vapors they will be quite hot but they won't be as hot as the su surrounding exhaust gas so it may still have some sort of effect but it'd be worth trying to to reduce emissions and to sort of sustain any other systems i may get going like a vapor system now with, a, with an exhaust loop of some kind we could have an EGR valve in there for when we're starting the engine in case there was too much pressure building up you wouldn't want to damage any piston rings or head gaskets or anything just to allow some form of control and uh, or to get over most of the hurdles anyway let me know what you think YouTube um, see how we get on